the changes and fluctuations you see in that is related to stress. So in my patients who are not truly pre-diabetic or diabetic, where we then start to see actual elevations, their fasting glucose is 122, 118, 135. In the patients where they hover in the normal range here between 70 and 99, if you're doing a morning fasted blood test, the changes and fluctuations you see in that is related to stress. So when my patients come in and their fasting insulin is two, so let's say it's really, really great, but their fasting blood sugar is 97, to me, that's their stress because their cortisol levels are gonna be higher, which liberates glucose into the blood. And so the first thing you ask is, well, how stressful was your morning? Because adrenaline does this as well. So if they're like, oh, normal morning, traffic was fine, you know, I didn't fight with my significant other, like there's nothing that I'm overly stressed about. Then you start to think about cortisol issue. I feel like, oh my gosh, there was an accident and I was 20 minutes late for my blood draw and I spilled coffee all over my suit this morning, like all that kind of stuff. Then it's like, okay, let's just repeat this if we need to because it's likely an adrenaline issue and not a cortisol issue, a long-term cortisol issue per se. <clears throat> Fasting insulin is also a really great way to show patients that <clears throat> what they're eating is not healthy for them. For example, uh, on a student rotation last week and two weeks ago, had a patient who claimed that she ate definitely a cleaner diet than me with way more vegetables and basically no carbohydrates. We did a, fa <laughs> you know, <laughs> we did a fasting insulin level and it was 35. is very high. Mm -hmm. So outside of a, uh, a tumor that's producing insulin, an insulinoma, which if that were the case and it was an insul insulinoma, with her eating that way, she would have chronic hypoglycemic symptoms. She would feel like she was going to pass out all the time because her blood sugar would trend like towards 70 or lower. Because right, insulin is just going to take the sugar that she has and pack it away. So she's just... Uh, she is likely not telling us the truth about what she's eating. So that's a great way sometimes with some patients to be like, hey, are, can you really tell me about what you're eating? Uh, I had a, a patient, this was maybe four or five months ago.